All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, thank you for dropping by. So today we're gonna do a video on uh, something I thought would uh, help you guys out maybe with your summertime fishing. That's gonna be um, top five favorite bass baits to use. And not just any, my personal favorites. So I figured we're gonna be going bass fishing this weekend and I thought I'd do a video for you guys showing what I personally like to use when I'm either searching or I found a school or I'm just generally baits that I like to fish all the time and I find a lot of confidence in. So today we're gonna do that. I'm gonna be going through how I rig it up, what rods that I use, what line that I use, and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned, here we go. So none of these baits are in any particular order. I usually pick a bait based off of the conditions that we're fishing. So whatever the conditions present itself, I pick a bait or I pick my most likely rig to use based off of the conditions. So none of these have any relevance to any order that I'm putting them in. Just the, I'm just listing them as I go. The first bait that I personally like to use the most for a style of fishing is flipping, is the Rage Craw by Strike King Lures. First one, it's got a very cylindrical body. So it punches through extremely, extremely well and gets through all those mats and covers and lay pads with ease. The second are these claws. So they have these claws and on the bottom of the claws are little rudders. What these rudders do, they actually allow the bait to flip back and forth, giving a little bit more action on the way down. So unlike your typical other punch baits, what happens is that the claws are actually completely flat, which sometimes can be good, but I personally prefer a little bit more action when I'm punching through mats or if I'm flipping any sort of cover. The rudders add that little bit more action and allows your bait to look essentially a little bit more alive. So the rod that I usually rig it up on is my seven foot five heavy Shimano Zodius paired with a Cronark CI4 Plus. I have it rigged up with 50 pound Power Pro in a yellow high viz. I'd say bottom five feet of the line, I take a Sharpie and color it black. The reason for that is just so it's not visible when it goes through the mat. I like to keep the rest yellow because it allows me to see my line when I pitch it in. So if my line jumps or I see it move at all, I know that a fish has probably picked up my bait and it makes it a lot easier to identify a light bite that you may not normally be able to see. All right, so the next bait that I personally like to use is a super popular one, everyone loves it, and that's the good old reliable net rig. Now the Ned Rig's so popular because it's literally half a Senko on a mushroom head. You can retrieve it slow, you can hop it, you can drag it along the bottom, you can fish it so many different ways and it catches fish. That's simply done. Everyone likes it because it does what it's supposed to do and it catches fish. I find that the purple and brown does extremely well for me. I have it rigged up on my seven foot Daiwa Tatula rod with my Stratic CI4 Plus. 2500 size. The line that I'm using on it is 15 pound Power Pro Super 8 Slick and then on the end of here for probably about six feet I'm running a uh, eight pound Invisex leader off of that for uh, just the invisibility of fluorocarbon. I also fish it on my 7.6 St. Croix once in a while if I really want to fish it farther out. Uh, and hop it from a far distance. That way I have that extra six inches on that rod to really pick up all the extra slack and set the hook from a farther distance essentially if a fish does pick it up farther out. Moving on. So another bait that I really like to fish is a older style bait that's had some new improvements to it and that's gonna be the lipless crankbait. This is the Jackal TN60. The reason that I like the Jackal TN60 so much is honestly because of their weight transfer system in this. On the front of the Jackal TN60, you'll see that it's got a tungsten lip, which makes the bait, instead of riding straight, allows it to ride more downwards as if a fish was feeding. And it also helps keep the hooks off the ground. So you can fish it in a little bit of cover and it allows you to 
really stay just above the weeds and not get hung up as well it's a very good bait to fish in a rocky area say if you're fishing a little bit deeper it looks like foraging bait or bait that's trying to feed off of the ground and it gives a very lifelike presentation color that i personally use all the time is the spawn tiger which was the color that you saw there uh spawn tiger is i don't even know what it is I have the Jackal TN16 in a variety of different colors because they're such a good versatile bait. I usually pick a color based off of the conditions that I'm fishing that day. The rig that I'm using to fish the Jackal TN60 is a seven foot four legend glass by St. Croix paired up with a 201 Shimano Corrado. The line that I'm using on my Shimano Corrado is a 12 pound Invisex by Seagar, which is their fluorocarbon style line. So another bait that I like to fish is another really popular one, and that's the swim bait. You can fish it in many different ways, including a trailer, say on the back of a spinner bait, or a swim jig or chatter bait, or you can fish it by itself for a much more finesse approach. Personally, the way I like to fish it is either on a quarter ounce jig head, So the way I like to fish it is on a quarter ounce jig head and I fish it on a spinning combo like this one here. I currently don't have one rigged up but it would be a seven foot rod or a little bit longer seven foot two, seven foot three but I'd be fishing in a medium to a medium light action. Same thing I'd be fishing with 15 pound braid and I'd be fishing with a leader as well. Uh, this one is an eight pound Invisex fluorocarbon by Seagar, a 2500 size reel like this Shimano Stratic would be an ideal situation for it as well. The swim bait brand that I find I have the most confidence in that I use all the time would be the Haze Dong by Mega Bass Lures. The color that I really like to use in the Mega Bass Haze Dong Lures is going to be the Green Pumpkin Shad. Green Pumpkin is always a good color to go with because it's super natural. Um, there's not a lot of flash to it and it allows a very subtle presentation. Sometimes when the bite's really tough, going natural, especially with a swim bait, sometimes a really good choice. Alright guys, so my last bait that I usually like to use when I'm fishing for bass is an Old Faithful. Everybody loves it. It's probably on every other person's list for their top bass baits. And that's the spinner bait. Now the reason I like the spinnerbait is for obviously many reasons. Um, it's such a great search bait. You can cast it super far, it's super versatile in almost every situation. I always, always, always have a spinnerbait tied on. Works great when it's super clear sometimes. Works great when there's a little bit of wind and some chop on the water as well. Uh, the spinnerbait is just an overall really versatile lure that I like to use and I always have one tied on. The size for the lure usually goes half of an ounce to sometimes three eighths or even three quarters of an ounce depending on how deep that I'm fishing. Uh, but most commonly that I find myself using is a half ounce spinnerbait. Most important part is the double willow blade. I can't stress that enough. I'm not a big fan of Colorado blades, just there's so much resistance on them and I find it pushes too much water. I'm a big fan of the dual willow blades. The reason for that is it pushes water, adds enough vibration, but gives off a lot of flash. And you can really, really work them extremely fast, especially if you're looking for fish and you're looking for um, getting into those tight areas. It comes out of cover much easier, especially if you're fishing weeds, especially if you're fishing grass. It just goes through the cover so much more quickly and effectively. Now the rod that I fish a spinnerbait with is a seven foot, medium heavy, fast action, 13 fishing omen with a Shimano Cronark MGL. Now the line that I use with it is 30 pound Power Pro and that's in the aqua green in the Super 8 Slick. Now I don't tie a leader off directly to my bait, I tie directly to braid. The reason for that is um, I fish this in a lot of cover. So uh, I'll fish it around the edges of weed lines, I'll fish it near docks, I'll fish it near uh, lily pads. Uh, I don't want to take the chance of breaking off, say with a fluorocarbon leader. Plus I find that the fish don't really care as much 
when you're using a spinner bait. Um, a piece of line's not gonna stop them. There's a, two huge blades off of it with a giant skirt. They're gonna hit it regardless, in my opinion. So I like to use straight braid, especially for wrenching them out of cover. It's super, super important to have a really, really strong backbone on your rod. And with the line in combination with that, you're less likely to lose a fish, say at the side of the boat or even on your hook set. All right, so that does it. Um, those are my top five baits that I like to go to when I'm fishing bass. Um, I do a lot of experimenting with this. There is no right or wrong as what to use, what color to use. These are just my personal favorites that I've found that works for me over the years. And the best part about fishing is you get to try many different styles of baits, many different kinds, recommendations, and you find out what works for you and what works best for where you fish or maybe that your favorite lake. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, I mean. Uh, there's some there. I had a whole nother box full of plastics here as well. So there's a lot of different things I use. Those are just the first baits that I tend to pick up when I'm fishing, especially in a body of water that I've never fished before. Those are the ones that I usually go to first because I know that I have caught fish on them before and I know that it has potential to catch fish on them again. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, Click the link down below or click the subscribe button down below. Uh, I got lots more content, lots more fishing content, how to's. If there's a certain video you guys want to see, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram as well, Freshies Media at Instagram. Uh, DM me if you guys have any questions, give me a follow. I'm always posting content up there. And uh, yeah, stay safe, guys. Tight lines.